Hi everybody, I'm Rashid, so uh, I'm continuing this review. Uh, the only question so far I didn't talk about, but this one, uh, it's uh, usually straightforward, so um, you can just switch the points. You know, if this is 6, 8, that point on top there, 6, 8, so for the inverse, you'll do 8, 6. So this is a, a reinforcement, but I think this one usually nobody has any issues with. Uh, so for this video, we're going to talk about uh, variation. And uh, so maybe we'll do uh, this, this one here prior to the other first. Um, so here um, uh, we have suppose y varies inversely. So there is uh, inversely and there is uh, directly. Uh, if it's direct, y equal kx. If it's inverse, it's y equal k over x, which means as this increases, this will decrease. All right. If it's uh, direct, then it's the other way, where as this increases, this also increases all right uh, so write the inverse variation uh, which is y equal k over x now find y when x equal 3 uh, so we just uh, y equal uh, but uh, we have this given here so let's try that first so, uh, because we need to find k first, uh, the constant. Okay. And so y equal k over x. When y is 2, x is 6. And you cross multiply, you get, or multiply by 6 both sides, you get k equal 12. So this, um, thing here is y equal 12 over x. So that's uh, the answer or the input in, for this question. All right. So find uh, y when x equal 3, which means now that we know the equation or the variation, now we can answer any, any request. So y equal uh, 12 over x. Uh, and 12 over 3, which is 4. So the input for here is going to be y equal 4. Uh, uh, although this is kind of uh, kind of simplified, but this is the, the method that you're going to use in word problems as well. So uh, the steps will go same way for uh, to solve a variation. And variation is an important uh, concept because it allows you to, to understand the relationship and understand how things will change with the relationship, right? So if the two things are increasing, if the other number uh, or the input or the independent variable is higher, then you will know uh, your answer is going to be higher somewhere up there. And the same thing for the inverse. If you know the, the now the number is higher, then your answer is going to decrease. And uh, from there, uh, you can uh, connect it to other applications. Like, uh, for example, uh, the volume of, uh, of a gas, for example, uh, varies inversely, let's say, with the pressure. Right? So some, you know, something like this, uh, which means the more, if we have, a, let's say, a piston, and you have a gas here. Uh, if you press this thing or you apply more pressure, this is going to, so let's say this P1 pressure there. And um, maybe we should uh, make it similar this way. Uh, we're saying this next step. So so if we take this one and we apply more pressure, which is P2, 
what's going to happen is the volume will shrink. So if this is V1 and this is V2, what's going to happen is the volume will, will be smaller. So if P1 um, or P2 is bigger than P1, right? P2, which means the pressure now is higher, the gas shrinks. You see what's going to happen is V2 is going to be less than V1. Uh, we can give another example for temperature, but that's going to be uh, the other way. Right? So to understand these ideas, so for example, we can do the same thing. If uh, the temperature, if you heat up the gas, it's going to expand, then the volume is going to get bigger. So T1 and T2 and stuff. So you can do the same thing and understand it. But of course, you see now the two things, if they, they change, they're going to uh, uh, affect this thing. And this is where uh, um, you have a joint uh, variation or you have a variation where one varies inversely and other varies directly. But in, it always, at any case, you write one equation. So that's an important note. So if you see a problem that says um, it varies, let's say uh, uh, the V varies, the volume varies uh, directly, you know, it has a direct variation with uh, temperature and inversely um, with uh, pressure right uh, in 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 this case we're not going to set up these two equations uh, here i'm saying that if it's just given one not the other like keeping let's say temperature constant and here's same thing keeping uh, that constant but we're changing temperature but if we're saying uh, this written variation here then you're going to do one equation you don't write the two equations you will say k constant of variation varies directly means multiply by t and inversely means divide by p so that's the important note there that when we solve variation problems we do one it's one variation it's one constant then we solve the request so let's see what this one is talking about uh, for a moving object so you have a, an object that's moving right And the force acting on this object uh, varies directly with the object acceleration. So it varies directly with the object acceleration. And, um, and you, you've probably seen this as the Newton's second law, right? Uh, when a force of uh, 30 Newtons, uh, this is a given uh, on a certain object, the acceleration was 10 meter uh, per uh, square second, right? If the force changes to 21, what will be uh, the acceleration? So we have varies directly, that gives us the variation thing, equation. So uh, what we need to find is K. If we know K, we can answer this. So the steps go uh, just like the previous one, first F equal, Ka because it's direct. Second step is you're going to substitute given information uh, or data, uh, uh, right? So F is here when the force is 30. So 30 equal on a certain object, the acceleration was 10. This allows us to get uh, K, so we divide by 10 both sides and get K as 3. And now that we know K is 3, we're going to go back to step 1 and that's going to give us the variation. Once you have the variation, now you're ready to solve any request, solve uh, the any 
request or any question. So if the force changes to 21, then, uh, so then the acceleration is divided by three both sides, so it would be a seven. And what are the units? It's gonna keep the same units. And sometimes we write it that way. Remember the exponents divide by uh, these exponent here at two, which means a negative exponent two. So it's the same way. All right, so uh, this is how we do this variation. And if it's jointly, then, uh, and it doesn't say anything, they're just multiplied, but in most of cases it's uh, specified. And if it says varies directly with the square of this, then it's a square, right? Uh, the way you read it, the way you write it, it's one variation, one constant. Once you find K, then you answer the request.